Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter one, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So number two says 90 is 10% of what? So what we wanna do is decide what we had to divide by 10 to get 90. So 10 has one zero. I'm gonna add a zero to 90. So I'm gonna put my original 90, and then I'm gonna add one zero because 10 has one zero, okay? Number three, 800 is 10 times as much as, so it's saying that 800 is 10 times bigger than what? 10, again, has one zero, so I'm going to cross off one zero, and then I have 80, okay? I'm gonna let you guys do number four. We're gonna go ahead and do the chart for five through eight, okay? So, we want to know what is, what 100 is 10 times as much as, what number? Well, uh, one zero again. I'm gonna take off one zero. That gives me a 10. Now, on the other side of that, it's one tenth of, which means there's still one zero, so I'm going to add a zero. So I have my 100, and then I add a zero, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing. For 7,000, I'm gonna take a zero off for the first column, so I have 700. And then I'm gonna add a zero for the one-tenth of, okay? Same thing for the next one. Take a zero off, put a zero on. Last one, take a zero off and put a zero on, okay? Same thing with these guys. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and do nine through 12. We're gonna go down to the word problems, okay? It says, the eatery restaurant has 200 tables. In a recent evening, there were reservations for one-tenth of the tables. How many tables were there? What is one-tenth of 200? So I'm gonna take that 200 and if I had to divide it by a tenth, I would be taking one zero off because there's one zero on that 10, okay? So that gives me 20, and we're gonna label it tables, word problem, word answer, okay? All right, Mr. Wilson has $3,000 in his bank account. Ms. Nelson has 10 times as much money, okay? So I'm gonna take that 3,000, 10 times as much, okay? How much money does Ms. Nelson have? Well, we would have to add a zero if she has 10 times more. One zero, one zero. So that gives her $30,000. Our dollar sign is our label for that one. So that's all you need to do. Okay, we're gonna flip it over to the back side where you guys are gonna do the lesson check. Just like always, we're gonna go down and do number three. Number three says, Risa is sewing a ribbon around the sides of a square blanket. Each side of the blanket is 72 inches long. Okay, so we need to find the perimeter. How many inches of ribbon will she need? We need to find the perimeter, which means that we have two choices. We can either add 72 four times. So 72 plus 72 plus 72 plus 72, or because we're in fifth grade, we're gonna do 72 times four because there's four sides on a square blanket, okay? So, four times two is eight, eight, or sorry, four times seven is 28. So 288 inches. Okay, all right. Number four, what is the value of N? So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and combine our like terms first. Well, we're using PEMDAS or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we don't have any parentheses in this. We don't have any exponents. We don't have any division, but we do have multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So I've crossed off what I don't have, so I, now I know what order I need to do the rest in, okay? So I'm gonna do our multiplication first. That's this guy and this guy, okay? So nine times 27, I'm gonna go 27 times nine, and I have to do 31 times 2 as well, and then I need to add those two together, okay? So 9 times 7 is 63, K 
carry my 6. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 6 is going to be 24. Okay, so now I have this one is 243. I'm adding that to whatever this is, and then I still have to do the minus 28. Okay, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 3 is 6. So now I have 62 right here. Okay, so now I'm all done with my multiplication. Okay, so now I need to add these two together. So I'm going to go to just to right here, and I'm going to add that 62 right there. It's just a little easier than rewriting the whole thing. Okay, so 3 plus 2 is 5. 4 plus 6 is 10. Carry that 1, and 1 plus 2 is 3. So now I did this, and I have 305. I still have to take away 28, and it still equals n. Okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and go 305, and I'm going to, actually, I'm going to rewrite that one because I'm going to have to borrow. So I'm going to do 305 minus 28. Okay? 5 cannot take away 8. And 0, I can't borrow anything from 0. So I have to go all the way over to the 3, make it a 2. Then I'm going to make my 0 a 10, but then I have to borrow 1, and which makes it a 9, and make this one a 15. Okay, so now 15 minus 8 is 7, 9 minus 2 is 7, and then I'm going to bring down my 2. So n equals 200. 77. This is 277 equals n, same thing. Okay? All right. That took a while. Okay. Going down to number 5, it says, what is the best estimate for the product of 289 and 7? Well, product means that we are multiplying. So I'm going to go 289 times 7. 7 times 9 is 63. 7 times 8 is 56. Plus 6 is going to be 62. Carrying my 6. 7 times 2 is 14. Plus 6 is going to be 20. 2,023. Oh, but you know what? It says estimate. So excuse me, Leah, for just a minute. Um, and we're going to round 289 to 300. And we're going to round 7. You know, we're going to keep 7 the way that it is. Okay? We don't have to round that one. Okay? So now, 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 0 is 0. And 7 times 3, 21. So 20, 2,100. Okay? So you've got your real answer and then your estimated answer. And it asks for the estimate. Okay? All right. Number six, arrange the following numbers in order from greatest to least, so biggest to smallest, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and I'm going to write them one above the other so that I can tell which one is first, okay? So we can all see that all the sevens are the same, okay? Now I have a three, a one, and a six. I need biggest to smallest, so 6 is going to be my first one. So I have 7, 6, 1, 3, comma. Okay, I'm going to cross that one off because I don't need it anymore. Okay, now I have a 3 and a 1. So the 3 is going to be bigger than the 1. So I'm going to have 7, 3, 6, 1. And then my last one, 7, 1, 3, 6. Cross those guys off. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 1.1. Come on back for 1.2. See you soon.